Hi friends, today we're doing Unit 8, Lesson 6, and we're going to move right into the reading today. Chapter 3, Alameda, the Basket Weaver. Alameda, where are you? My mother called. I did not answer. Instead, I crept around the corner of our home and hid. I waited and watched in the cooling shade. I held my breath. I was just about to close my eyes when a lizard raced across my bare feet. It tickled. She's hiding from you, my younger brother Kelly announced. She's over there, he said, pointing towards me. I did not reply, but stuck my tongue out at Kaylee. He was always getting me into trouble. Alameda, we need you. We have work to do. We must finish the baskets, my mother said as I made my way towards her. She was not angry, but it was clear that she was not going to let me play. I had work to do. I walked slowly towards the shaded area that my father had constructed out of wooden poles and a covering. I kicked at the dirt as I walked. There were, se there were several of these structures scattered around our village. Women could be found sitting under them, weaving baskets of various shapes and sizes. They also created a whole host of other things. Men could be found sitting together, shaping tools for hunting and farming. All of the women in our village made baskets. Baskets were very important because they were used for carrying water, for storing grain, fruits, nuts, and berries, and even for cooking. Sit near me, my grandmother said as I came and stood beside her. I sighed deeply and threw myself down on the ground next to her. She smiled and handed me the basket I had begun to make the day before. Our people have been making these baskets since time began, she said. This skill has been handed down from one generation to the next. It is important that you learn it, Alameda. I know, I replied, and then I sighed again, but I would rather learn how to hunt than weave baskets, I admitted. My grandmother laughed out loud. When I was your age, I thought the same thing, she replied. Really? I asked, looking at her wise old face. Then why are you making me do it? I asked eagerly, wondering if there was a way out. Grandmother looked at me for a few moments before she replied. Then she asked, when you hunt or fish or even farm, what are you going to do with the food you have provided? Eat it, I exclaimed cheerfully. But we can't eat everything at once, she chuckled. We must save the corn we harvest. We must dry some of the meat we hunt for. We must store the fruits and berries we gather. We must store this food safely so that we can survive during the time when the sun has turned away from us. You will see, Alameda, how important it is to learn this skill. Now remember what I told you yesterday. All coiled baskets are made from plants that bend easily. Plants such as yucca, split willow, rabbit brush, or skunk brush are the best. I remember, I said, still not convinced that I wouldn't be happier hunting. Is that why we can also make rope, sandals, mats, and even clothes out of these plants that bend easily? I asked, trying not to sound too interested. These plants, yes, these plants have many uses. But it is our skill as weavers that enables us to make these things. Plus, Elamita, you want to get married, don't you? She asked as she revealed a large toothy grin. No, I immediately replied. My grandmother exploded with loud laughter. Well, in case you ever change your mind, your skill as a weaver might get you noticed by any one of those boys that you like to go hunting with. She continued, her eyes shining with delight. Yuck, I said by way of a reply, and then I spat in the dirt to make my point even more clearly. Well, just in case you change your mind, we had better get to work, Grandmother said with a chuckle. Then together, we began to weave the baskets that my people had been making since time began. This is Alameda and her grandmother weaving the baskets. You may now move on to Unit 8, Chapter, Unit 8, Lesson 6, Google Form.